Hi, I'm Harvey Hubble. You're watching Seedling.tv, nourishing mind, body, and planet. Subscribe now. It's good for you. Welcome to the vault. If you use the long list of traits from the, from the neurologist, it's quite obvious that people have these, some people have some traits and not others. And there is one person I dealt with in my book, for example, who, who is not dyslexic at all, but I put him in because he's so intensely visual. This is Nikola Tesla. Uh, I'm just mentioning this as a, as a point that I, people who are high visual had no really dyslexic traits. And in fact, they were opposite dyslexic traits because with dyslexic traits, you have reading problems, you have memory problems, you have word recognition problems, there are all kinds, there's a very clear set of things that you can look for. And it, all of these relate to how the brain is formed, how it's developed, and it's, all this is fairly clear now. Um, and so I think it's not irresponsible to go to a historical person and, and, and look at the diaries and letters, the primary sources, and, and find evidence of these traits. Um, uh, because, especially when you can link it to the, the talents that led to great accomplishments in a variety of fields. Oh, actually you talk about animals. Being able to understand an animal with all these, um, you know, like the horse whisperer stuff and all those things, being able to intuit what's going on in the animal's mind and knowing how to control it or how to make it behave or how to race faster or do whatever. Well. Anyone who is sort of excessively bookish probably would be a dunce when it came to dealing with the subtleties of that animal, whereas the dyslexic would probably, not all, because they're all different. I haven't emphasized that enough. All dyslexics are different one to another. But, but it, I would expect the dyslexics, many would have that ability to intuit what was going on with that horse or that animal of some kind or that dog or whatever. And there's a, well, there's another whole side. Just, just before it. the animals are going to do it. Yeah. I just know what yeah. the animals are going to do. Yeah. Just before and the animals it's, the, it's that highly honed abilities to observe and to pull in information from the whole world and not have to have something explained to you in a lecture. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Obviously, that's been important for humanity forever. <laughs> Yet, we've got ourselves in a box thinking that the only way to all kinds of knowledge is to take a course and do a lecture and write a paper. 